Being caught with marijuana, even if it's a small amount, can lead to complex legal proceedings, such as those that happen right here at the municipal court in Lawrence. So to alleviate the system, legislators are pushing to decriminalize marijuana so that if someone's caught with 15 grams or less, all they have to pay is a $100 fine. Those arrested for having even minor amounts of marijuana now face up to $1,000 in fines, $800 in state-assessed penalties, and they could lose their driving license for up to six months and their job and student loan prospects. Well, last year there were about 26,000 drug arrests in the state, and the overwhelming were uh, marijuana uh, arrests. Um, also, the majority of those marijuana arrests were under 50 grams of, of marijuana. Uh, the, the usual uh, joint in a park or, or in an ashtray. Um, I, th I think in this instance, the punishment doesn't fit the crime. According to the bill Assemblyman Reed Gussiora co-sponsored, a person under 21 or anyone 21 and over who's caught three times will be required to undergo a drug education program. There's far too many uh, criminals that are in, in the jail system that, that is expensive for uh, um, taxpayers when we could emphasize rehabilitation uh, rather than incarceration. Decriminalizing marijuana would be a new step for New Jersey, but Assemblyman Gus Yora wouldn't go so far as to ask that the drug be legalized. Overall, uh, society still has to send a message that it's not okay to uh, indiscriminate use of marijuana, but the, the person that is arrested, um, I don't think that needs that punitive um, a hammer down from the state uh, that would affect their driving a, a record, their um, job prof job prospects in the future. And Assemblyman Reed Gussiora is pretty confident that this bill will be passed by the entire assembly and eventually end up on the governor's desk and signed into law. If that's the case, New Jersey would be following in the footsteps of New York and Connecticut. Reporting in Lawrence, CB Moancy, WZBN News.